Welcome to our All About Artwork section. If you're not on the artwork page already, remember that you can always check out the artwork section in the Help drop-down menu from any page on Motivators.com if you want to read through our frequently asked questions about artwork. In the meantime, you can stick around and we'll take you on a tour of the proofing process and hopefully help to answer most of the questions you may have about your artwork. Let's start from the beginning. You want a promotional product to be printed with your logo, company name, contact info, maybe all of the above, maybe not so much. Whatever it is that you want printed on a product, that's what we call your artwork. Sometimes your artwork is simply text, like your company's address and phone number. But either way, we understand that you probably have a specific vision in mind and we aim to carry that out for you. Don't forget to feel free to contact us either by phone or by emailing the art department if you don't have artwork and need help designing your imprint. Before placing an order, you may wonder what your artwork would look like on a particular product. If your imagination is having trouble, you can request a virtual proof by clicking the link below the product image. This does not obligate you to place an order. When we receive your request, we'll email you a digital mock-up so that you can get a better idea of what your design may look like on that product to help you decide on which product is perfect for you. At Motivators, you have the comfort of knowing that the ball is in your court and we don't imprint anything until we have your approval of the imprint design. When you place an order, we send you a proof at no charge so that you can see exactly how your design is scaled and laid out within the constraints of the maximum imprint area available for that product. Details of the item color and imprint color are included in your proof as well as the email that your proof is sent in. Please make sure that these details as well as the appearance and accuracy of your design are to your satisfaction and you can simply reply with your approval to the email that was sent to you and your order will then be processed and sent to the factory for printing. If you'd like to request a change in your design or details, simply reply with your requested changes and we'll send you a revised proof until we have your approval to print. Once you've received your proof, you may notice that our graphic artist has suggested a design that's slightly different from the design you originally requested. We want to make sure that the print quality of your finished promotional product is as sharp looking as possible. So in some cases, designs are at risk because of the size of the imprint area available and the nature of the design itself. Our graphic artists will suggest a design that is as close as possible to your original request while still giving the design the best chance possible to print cleanly and sharply. We also understand that you may have corporate branding standards and guidelines, so you may of course decline our suggestion if you prefer to print your original request with the understanding of the printing risks involved. But before you get a proof, there's a few important things to know about your artwork before you send it to us. The format of your artwork is very important in ensuring the best quality of your finished product. Therefore, we will need your design to be in a vector-based format. This means that the art was originally created in a vector-based art program such as Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW, or Freehand. The most common file extensions for vector art are AI, EPS, CDR, FH, and even PDF because true vector-based art can be maintained when saved as a PDF when that PDF is opened in a vector-based program. But be careful, sometimes even if you have a file with one of the aforementioned extensions, it does not necessarily mean that you have vectored art. So how can you tell if you have vectored art? And what's the next step if you don't? Well, for starters, you can tell immediately from the file extension if your art is not vectored. If the file ends in TIFF, GIF, JPEG, DOC, BMP, PNG, or PSD, it is not vectored artwork. If it has one of the acceptable extensions mentioned before, you can check your art by opening it in one of the vector-based programs we talked about earlier. After you have opened the file and you are looking at your design, simply use the selection arrow to draw a square around your entire design. After drawing this square, it will be pretty easy to tell if your art is vectored or not. If it simply has a single bounding box around the entire design, your artwork is not vectored. If your artwork has many different lines and dots on the contours and edges of each element of your design, you do have vectored artwork. Vectored art is necessary because unlike other formats, vectored art can be scaled up and down without compromising the quality or creating any distortion. This is because each vector line can be compared to a mathematical equation. Instead of pixels, vector art assigns an X and Y axis where each pixel would be, so that this way it remembers the exact proportions when it is blown up or scaled down. Take a look at how vectored art compares to non-vectored art when you attempt to resize it. And because the size of your imprintable area varies from product to product, your design will almost inevitably need to be resized at some point. Vectored art also makes it easier to edit if your original logo needs to be changed to one color for the purposes of printing on a certain product. But if your art is not vectored, don't sweat it. You may want to try contacting the designer of your logo to see if they have a vectored version of it. If not, once again, no worries. For a small fee, we can convert your art into a vectored format for you, and not only will we keep it on file for your future orders, but we'll also send you a copy of it to keep for any of your other potential needs for vectored art. 
So let's say you don't have a logo or you aren't going in that particular direction with this promotion. All you want is a name and phone number printed. Not only is that no problem, but it's easy too. Simply let us know what you want your text to say either in the cart during the online order process or over the phone and if you have any special instructions such as bold face type or italics, please be sure to let us know exactly what you envision. Part of that vision may be a particular font type. In either the online cart or on our artwork page in the help drop down menu, you'll find a button or link to our collection of fonts that we have available. You may request any font from that list, but depending on the nature of a particular font, our graphic artists may once again suggest that you use a different font so that it is sure to print cleanly and legibly. If you have a font on your computer that you really love but don't see it on our list, you can send the font file to us so that we can use it to lay out your text on the proof. Now there are a few different ways of getting your artwork to us. You're given the option to upload your artwork when you're in the cart during the online ordering process. Otherwise, you can choose to send your logo via email to our art department at art at motivators.com. If you do send us art via email, please use your company name in the subject line. Sometimes art files are too big to send via email, so if you're having trouble sending it because of the size of the file, give the art department a call or send us an email so that we can direct you to our FTP site where you can upload your artwork directly to us. Color, of course, is a very important element to your entire promotion. From the colors of your logo or design to the color of the product that you're printing on, we again aim to deliver your vision and produce a finished product that you're proud to hand out or sell. Your artwork may be branded with a particular color that must always be used when printing it. There are a few different color matching systems out there, but we use the PMS or Pantone matching system. This system assigns a different number or name to each color to ensure consistency. Each product has a set of standard imprint colors, which we will match to your color request as closely as possible at no extra charge. If it's imperative that your logo or design be printed in a specific PMS color that is not offered as a standard imprint color for that item, we can match your specific color for a small additional fee. And now a few other quick notes to remember when deciding on colors for your promotion. Because our commitment to a quality finished product and a successful promotion overall, once again, our graphic artists may step in with some advice on color if they feel that the original color requests would be a detriment to your finished product. For example, your company colors may be blue and red. Therefore, your company may want a translucent red water bottle and your logo is blue. We may suggest that even though your logo is normally blue, the imprint will pop more and appear much more legible and clearly if it were printed in white because of the nature of the material and color that it's being printed on. As you can see from the example, the white imprint provides a much nicer contrast between the logo and the product, making your logo stand out a lot more, which in the end is the point of promotional products in the first place. There may also be situations where the color of the imprint may appear darker or different because of the way it sits against the background of the product color. Even though the same color may be used over the top of two different backgrounds, the color can appear very different as you can see. It's sort of an optical illusion if you will. Of course, we hope you all understand that we are looking out for your best interests and as always you may decline our suggestions. Finally, you may be wondering what the imprint method has to do with your artwork. It actually has a lot to do with your options in many different regards. Some designs will benefit from the type of imprint method being used, like for example, if you have a logo with several different colors or you want your design to be photorealistic, you'll want to look for an item that is printed with the four color process method. But our expert team will be happy to provide you with advice or suggestions if the imprint method may affect your design. You can also educate yourself on how each imprint method works by following the link from our frequently asked art questions to our imprint methods explain page and of course, feel free to visit our help section at any time for any reason. If your question's not answered there, we're easy to get in touch with and always happy to help. We hope that we've answered all of your questions about artwork, but feel free to contact us by phone, email, or even chat live with a representative right from our site. Thank you for choosing Motivators.